Hey YouTube, Captain Dave here from Third Wave. I want to report on an important discovery that I just made. Uh, one that could change the way a lot of people build their glass homes. What we're looking at here is a Garmin GPS map 8612 XSV. It's a touch uh, screen unit. Okay, so every, all the operation is done by touch. There's no knobs or anything and there's several important implications to that. Um, besides just the direct user interface to the device. But this, uh, one of them is that because there are no knobs on the unit, a remote unit can have the same exact functionality. And um, Garmin has made the choice to differentiate its products by screen size. And the differentiation is not small in terms of price. So, um, these the 12 inch units uh, like this one are about four thousand dollars you can get a 10 inch unit for twenty five hundred dollars and if you want to get a large unit like 16 or 24 inch they cost many many thousands of dollars however what i've discovered is that the hdmi out can be used in conjunction with the usb in when used with their standard USB on the go cable in order to provide touch screen capability from an external touch screen monitor. On third wave I have this 22 inch multi touch screen monitor. It's you know outdoor capable, sunlight readable, blah blah blah. You can see it in other videos that I've made. But look, I'm actually controlling the Garmin from this unit. And what that means, and it's snappy, and what that means is that the USB on the go cable allows you to pump the touchscreen output from any touchscreen back into the Garmin unit itself. So now, let's say you wanted to have this big touchscreen experience, maybe even larger. Maybe you want to go for, you know, even a larger touchscreen on your glass helm. What it means is that you can now buy the 10 inch version of the GPS map device for the lower price of maybe 2500 or something and use it as an auxiliary display and then actually operate your boat from this large touchscreen monitor. This is a big deal and I'm going to show you other ways to enhance this concept going forward using an HDMI switcher and custom software where I can use gestures to swipe back and forth from between this Garmin input and input from the computer that will be running the boat. In any case, this is a, a, a big deal. Garmin will probably try to create a firmware update that disables this uh, because it essentially destroys their entire marketing strategy for their high-end units. Um, who in their right mind after seeing this video would buy even the 12 inch unit, much less the 16 or the 24, when they know they can go buy what I have here is a $600 um, external sunlight readable, very nice heavy aluminum frame um, touch screen made for outdoor use, and I can use it with uh, the $2,400 Garmin unit. So, again, big. Uh, Big revelation here for those trying to build their own glass home with respect to equipment options and prices. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.